Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Lords of Shurama. We're on episode 73. It is time to hopefully clear out the rest of the desert, or the desert as it were. And once the last of the sandwormy worms are dead and slaughtered and murdered, we'll continue on and go play in the mausoleum. Lots the play, the plan, the gold, the hope, the dream. Yay for seven hours of food while we walk around looking silly. Ow, we got hit by seven! points of poison damage from god only knows what out here that could possibly poison us but hey we'll see it looks like Kalark leveled up in the last episode and uh Kimera's pretty close as is Gaolen well we walked around the entire night and still nothing at all right now this is actually quite frustrating I'm not gonna lie like we're gonna maybe really we're getting ambushed by ravens okay like we're maybe going to run out of food by the end of this. I don't know. So, a couple of giant ravens. Is that what they are? Yeah. Giant ravens. They're going to be hard to hit, of course. Throw out that 70 damage. Or 70% chance to strike and 86 damage. Like a boss. The bleeds are real and they really hurt. They are not fun to deal with whatsoever. We're going to throw out the AoE heal that we know we can throw out. Additionally, we're going to bleed them a little bit. See how they like it. I don't think they're going to like it all that much. I'm just saying. I think they are going to be pretty unhappy. 77% we missed. There's another bleed. We're up to 18. Bleed, it's not fantastic. 68% we missed that, of course. 68% we missed again. 66% we missed. I mean, all of these are over a 50% chance, yet we missed every single one of them. In fact, all of those were over a 2 to a two to 1 uh, advantage to hit, and again, absolutely nothing. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, we're going to start bleeding you a little bit, and we're going to hope that eventually we'll be able to land a couple shots here. It's not looking super great. There it is. There's some of the damage coming out. Alright, we're going to come over here and hopefully be able to throw out some damage on this guy. 86 and a bleed. Not too, too bad. And I want to say I'm going to swap with you, and eventually we'll be able to throw out a heal. We should be able to get some range on this. Gonna go with a big old lightning or rock, yeah, rock fall there. Not too bad. And down he goes. All right. Looks like we have the double bracelets of death as our reward. I'm all of a sudden very warm. I think I need to open a window, guys, but it's okay. I'm gonna wait. We have an air conditioner running, but I'm still warm. It's very strange. All right. We received identified or unidentified stuff. Uh, looks like Kimiera did level up, so she is slightly ahead of Galen. And. I feel like uh, maybe I didn't get the points like I was supposed to the last time we were in town. Well, wouldn't you know it? That is okay, I guess. It's too late to cancel the level? Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. It is too late. Alright. Uh, well, hmm. I guess we'll go there with agility. Throw that out. And I don't really know what to do at this point. I guess one point in perception and one point in... Trap disarming, I guess. Uh, eh. What else? Well, we'll go through this level without any additional points, I suppose. Well, that is going to be the play. All right, that actually hurt quite badly. I know you wouldn't think it would hurt that bad, but it did. It was pretty unpleasant. I'm not going to lie. All right, well, we're going to move around again. We're waiting for that last, final group, hopefully. Ooh, knowledge of herbs. We found some mushrooms in the desert. I don't know how that's a thing. Don't they need to be in, like, moist, damp, wet areas to grow? I'm not sure. I am not a mushroomologist. We don't actually have any herbs that we can utilize to make us more powerful than ever before. So there is that. And again, we're going to circle the wonderful, wonderful desert until... Oh, we suffered the sting of a scorpion. Ah, that's what's stinging us out here and poisoning us and making us sad and unhappy. We're waiting for it. Waiting. Come on. There's got to be like one more left, right? There's a few enemies roaming nearby. Could just be one more battle. It may never happen. Maybe we'll head back up toward town. I don't know. Oh, there we go. And we're up against an ancient sandworm. There's no way this could possibly go bad. You know what? We're going to actually use our camouflage skill. It makes me sad to do so, but we're going to actually head back to town. We're going to rest up. And then we're going to come back looking for that guy, and we're going to do battle with him and hope that we survive. There's no guarantee that we will, but there's a pretty good chance that that is the final individual that we have to deal with. And for that, I am actually grateful, because... Well, that means we're going to get a nice boost to our XP, or EXP, or experience, if you will. A little bit of a bonus to our experience. 
and then it's going to be pretty good for us. So we'll come over here, we'll grab up on that food supply. We'll walk over to that bush and just stare at it because, well, I guess we can. Don't really know why we decided to stare at the bush, but we did. It's fine. At your service. At your service. Indeed you are at my service, good sir. And I would like it very much if you could tell me what these two things are. Silver rings. I had no idea. Actually, I did. I knew exactly what they were. Why? Because that's kind of my job. Ooh, is that a soldier cloak? No. I thought that, I thought that was a... I thought that was a plus three dealie. Hmm. These all seem to be the same type. Yeah, this, we all looked at this before. Meh. I say meh. I may even go and get some blessings out of this. I don't know. Greetings. Let's talk to this guy. Good day, traveler. From the east, as always, it is a splendid day in Variscal. The sun is shining and blessing us all with its heat. It's a great time to have a good cactus beer and toast the people of the oasis. I imagine it probably is. But... For now, we're going to rest for eight hours, come back and feel all rejuvenated. All right. What do we have? We have five constitution and five maximum power. The servant of the gods. Ah, a new soul in the oasis. Could it be that the gods have once again opened the red pass? What has become of the guardian? The priestess looks at you as if she knows that you have been sent by the gods. The Ulnalum Guardian blocked my way to Variskel, where I needed to go to continue my mission. But the Guardian was protecting us from the forces of Nengorth. What will we do now? Do not fear, Priestess. Nengorth was defeated. From him, at least. Variskel is safe. I see it in your eyes, wandering pilgrim, that you are mortal and fearful. If you defeated the indestructible Guardian, then it was with divine help. But I will not ask you about your mission. It seems to me that it is very important and beyond the ability of anyone in the Oasis to understand. I am Karsisisis. Karasis? Sure. The Priestess of Kersket. The Lord of Earth and Stone. Alright. Where did the indestructible creature come from? On the continent of Shulamar, there is no material hotter than the ore known as Ulnalum. It is said that one of the first acts of the gods was to create a group of creatures known as the Guardians of Stone. These guardians built the divine temples according to the thoughts of their creators. Golot, the god of works, enhanced the guardians by covering them in Urnalum. This made them more powerful and resilient. With their newfound strength, the guardians built Golot's Tower of Wizardry. In the end, they laid down and went to sleep beneath the stone mountains in Veriskel. They did not awaken until Kiriong... The High Priest of Kursket called upon them to protect Veriskel when the impious princes came to power and invaded the villages of the free people. But those indestructible creatures do not know the difference between good and evil, and so they attack all who attempted to cross the Red Pass. Kiriong died in a great flood of the Varnalo, and no one was left to command the Ulnalum creatures. Okay, so that happened. All right, I would like some spiritual help. I would like very much if you would give me a blessing or 30. All right, Naliot. Okay, we received Naliot's blessing. Um, what else? Valvet, plus five strength. We'll totally take that. Taliot, who commands air and wind and laughter with a voice of heavenly joy or something. And defense and evasion. There we go. All right. Let's get out of here. It's a little bit of cash I'm money spent, but it might be costs. well worth it. We shall see soon enough. Alright, all the stuff is empty. I actually did a fairly decent job at looting things. Who knew that would be a thing that I could do, folks? Alright, we're going to go back into the desert, and it is here that we shall do battle with the ancient sandworm of death. And hope that we survive long enough to... Aha! Find 300 gold! Yay! We just got back enough gold from one of our blessings. Let's hope our blessings hold. There it is. The engagement is here. It is now, and, well, we're going to hope for the very, 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 very best. And we lay into it with 88%. Oh, and the first hit from him is a block. That is mildly impressive. All right. Um, I feel like... We do not using divine prayer. Oh, we do have divine prayer. All right. I don't know. That's not what I wanted. What is the aura of protection? That's cure wounds. That's aura of healing. That's aura blah 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 regeneration. 
Alright, Aura of Protection. We'll cast that. I'm going to add that to my bar next time, guys. My bad. Okay, um, I think we're going to have to go with a really, really big old bleedy spell right there. I know it's not a tremendously huge amount of damage, but it is some damage. There we go, and uh, the first... Uh, it's only wounds coming out this time. Alright. Uh, I was hoping maybe we get a crit there. No such luck. 69 damage as opposed to the higher up. Oh, we did not land that. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll throw the light heal out on you, sir. The wounds will start stacking. That's okay. That's right. They don't bleed. They wound us. I forgot about that. Alright. I don't know how much health he's got left. Oh, he had 1,500. That is a tremendously huge amount. Continue to throw out the hatred and pain. And this, oh, and the suffering and agony. Come on, land it. There we go. Now we got some real bleed and poisons and stuff going on. 15 bleed, 9 poison, and not too bad. Alright, we're going to throw out an AoE heal now. And hopefully with our aura of protection, we're going to be okay. We'll see. Throw out another bleed. That's 6. More added. Hey, we got a wound out there. Oh, and another deflection. Get wrecked, fool. 28 damage, another small baby bleed. That's okay. 9. Oh, very, very good. Alright, he's down to not quite half, but he's got 23 bleed and 17, which makes it a 40 damage per turn that he takes. It's not looking too bad. We're going to buff us up a little bit here. He's going to eat some more wounds. We'll try to remove some of those wounds in the next turn here that we have. Gonna do that, and I think I'm going to start just hammering him with uh, really, really big shots from now on. That's going to be our play. Alright, we're going to do some wound removal. There we are. You're back to full strength, good sir. Ooh, and you got a critical hit. Very nice. What is this? 68 to 112. And we're looking at, yeah, 90 to 150. I think we know the play. Big and nasty hit right there. Another smack and another wound. And we're looking at 31 and... Okay, we're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there slowly but surely. We're getting there. Another bleed attack. We're going to go with the aura of healing. It's going to heal for a bit more enough to keep Kalark alive. Especially if he attacks Mutana, that is definitely the play. Big hit there, and what do we have left? 260 is all that's left. We're going to go with a stun. We're going to go with a big hit, 100% chance. We're out of mana with you, and here comes the last hit of the Sandworm's life. We're out of mana with you as well, and it looks like Shiny Bob can take this home if he wanted to, but... There it is. Nope. Okay. Really? Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Alright, there it is, folks. There it is. 1600 experience, and that should clear the area? Maybe? Yeah, look at that. 1600 experience, double level ups, sandworm fang done, and another 1490 experience, because we cleared the area. And that puts Shiny Bob relatively close. Mutana relatively close as well. Actually, really close. Okay, um, let's level up Galen. Alright, we can do another one into strength. His constitution is actually pretty high, which is a little bit odd to me, but that's fine. We're going to increase your agility, good sir. Try to make you a little bit more likely to land your attacks. Uh, let's come on down here, get another point in your Venom Strike, and I think that's it for you. Yeah, it kind of sucks not having paid for any additional points at this point. Oh well, it is what it is. So in Venom Strike now, quite a bit better. It's like poisons the enemy for 20. Total damage on hit, and it improves our attack rating by 20. Eh, okay. Alright, I will accept it, move on, and then a good old Bumpy. It is my time to shine. Alright, we're going to go with energy, of course, and a little bit more into speed. And then we're going to come on down, get one point into Meditation. It looks like we actually have extra points on his end of things. The Hammer of the Destroyer, not really great. Magical Light, blah, blah, blah. End of Flames, I don't need to increase anymore. I guess we were just working on Fireball, weren't we? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Fireball, I mean, we can incinerate air, which will remove ice. I don't know if we really need that, though. More points in learning. We can level up a little bit quicker. We have three points left. Maybe object identification might be decent, but I mean, we're never going to catch up with that. 
another point of learning. I don't hate that. Um, I might just hold the. Might just hold my points. Doesn't look like we're gonna learn any more spells. I'm hoping we will, but it's not looking like we're going to. Which kind of makes me sad. All right, I'm gonna get the uh, incinerate air. That's gonna be the play. Yeah, remaining one point available. That's fine. All right, I don't know that I want to rest. I think I want to go back to town real quick. I know, guys. Super exciting stuff I'm doing. I want to rest in town, try to conserve as much of our food as we can. Because I feel like we're going to need everything we've got to get through the mausoleum. Maybe not. Maybe that's not going to be the play. Like, maybe it's going to be easy for us. I'm not entirely certain, but... Oh, you're a food vendor. I don't want you. I want you. Care for an ale? Alright, full eight hours... Yeah, full eight hours is fine. Take a look. We're about 16 minutes in, folks. So... That being said, we should be able to at least get part way, if not all the way through the mausoleum, assuming nothing else terrible happens along the way. And I am pretty okay with that scenario, guys. I am pretty okay with that scenario. I still feel like we're not quite strong enough to go back and try to deal with that frost archer in the arena. And it looks like we might not have enough food for this even, which kind of makes me a little bit sad, but... It is what it is. I'm just going to avoid combat. Yeah. Because I don't really want to do anything. And here we are. We are here. We have unlocked it. And we get to go inside. Now there should be plenty of traps and horrible various things in this area. And well, this is an interesting start. Okay. Well, there's clearly got to be a switch or something somewhere, right? There's a secret door. Of course there is. But you would think that we would know how to open the secret door. But as it stands right now, I am not seeing the secret switch to open the secret door. And I'm not even 100% sure what you have to do to open this. What? What's the deal? Is there like a skull or... Do we have to use End of Flames or something? No? Huh. Well, I really didn't expect to run into this kind of a... of an issue right away. Is there another way into this place? It's probably obvious and right in front of me, guys, and... I'll feel dumb for not knowing, but... It doesn't look like there's... Hmm. Alright, well, there's gotta be something in here. I don't... There's gotta be something obvious that I've just... I've missed. I don't know. Like, I'm holding the right mouse button, and I'm just... Normally things pop up like that, but maybe they've done away with I mean, I know they've been patching the game almost consistently or constantly, so... I mean, it's possible that maybe buttons no longer show up. I don't know. But... Oh, okay. Hmm. Fantastic. Alright, let's... Oh, there you go. You hear the strange grinding sounds which seem to originate from the floor ahead. Alright, well, there we go, guys. That is the reality of everything. The enemy is close. How close are they? I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to use a torch. Oh my gosh, I almost just triggered a trap. Alright. Well, it does appear that this will be, oh, somewhat difficult. As I nearly failed my left-clicky deal there. That would have been pretty awful. And wait for it. Wait for it. And... Kablammy? Come on, give me the green one, give me the green one, there it is. Alright. So we got through the first. I don't see any other... Ah, there's a secret door over here. I mean, that's something. Are there any more secret skulls? Aha, there's a switch right there. Alright, cool stuff. Alright, looks like there's spider webs around. Not painful spider webs, mind you, but spider webs nonetheless. Alright, looks like uh, it's closed with a lock difficulty of 18. Oh, and it was trapped. And apparently we didn't see the trap. That's it. My rogue is fired. My rouge is fired. Oh, 
That's fired completely. Alright, do we go up and around or do we go down? I guess we're going up and around. My word. Oh my gosh. Ah! So many bad plays on my part. I'm so sorry, guys. I did terrible there. That's okay. It's okay. That's what you, you guys show up to see me doing terrible things. Alright, Shanna Bob. You get to spread some of the love in there. Alright, this looks dangerous. Alright, we're gonna wiggle back and forth like a crazy person. Hey, ironically, we just got something called End of Flames. And would you look at that? No, I know. We, we had that before, actually. That was definitely not... Oops. It was definitely not for this side of life. I'm not noticing anything else showing up. There do seem to be some skulls laying around here. And a switch, mm -hmm. but I also, uh-huh. I say I also expect there to be a trap here as well. Alright, can we do it? Apparently we can, uh, thus far. So far? Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. That's fine. Alright, we'll trigger that. Something good and or bad maybe just happened, we're not entirely certain going to try to rest, but apparently that's... there we go. We were in a spider web. We were unable to rest. Yeah, we'll rest until everybody's healed. It's fine. There's no day or night in this area, so meh. I say meh. Come on. There's bound to be something here. No? Nothing? Really? I assume we open this somehow. We'll get back to it. We're gonna do the nice, slow, steady wiggle. That's how we roll. We gotta wiggle it up just to make sure, you know. Make sure there are traps. We find them. Theoretically. Alright, I'm not seeing anything here. We're gonna wiggle our way down. Nice and slow and steady like. Alright, looks like there's a lot of blood over here. It does not make me feel very good about myself. Not gonna lie, this makes me pretty nervous. Ah, aha! All right, let's see if I can be a little bit less terrible this time, or if I can be just as terrible as before. I had my moment there, guys. I was considering it, but I I don't trust myself anymore. My old man reflexes are old, and their reflexes and stuff. All right, and can we get the final one, or are we gonna trigger death once again? Aha! Victory is mine. I'm still not sold that there's not another trap laying around. And, aha! The brink of destruction over there. Oh, look. Ow! Oh, gosh, there's so many painful things. So many people just died horrible deaths. Okay, well, I wasn't really expecting that much death to ensue, but... I guess... Is there, I'm like, is there a particular reason this isn't working? All right, well, we'll do that again. Uh, apparently, we didn't discover that there were multiple dealies there, which, of course, is not the play. All right, looking around, looking around, trying to see, trying to see. Huh. Well, I suppose that's something. Is there any more traps, or is that it? I guess that's about it. Alright. What? We detected a trap that we don't even see yet, guys. We're that good. Yeah, we couldn't detect the trap that we're walking on top of until after we walked on top of it, so... I don't know. Kind of a catch-22 situation. There we go. Detecting some more traps. Probably don't want to go that way. Maybe don't even want to go this way. I don't know. Oh, we did detect this one, so that's a good sign. Alright. All right, I think I'll start with the middle one here. We'll try to get the front one. As my focus is a little unfocused, as they say. All right, and... Oh, what was that? You see that? That was tricky. That was tricky. That was not very nice. All right, I don't see any more skulls. I don't see any more switches on the wall. I imagine there's got to be something here. No? Well, guys, we got about five more minutes before I want to break off this episode. I don't know. 
This episode's beating me down, making me look really, really bad for my old age, which, of course, everybody knows I am. Hey, there's a secret door there, which might be triggered by the thing up top. This is, of course, assuming I don't get murdered by whatever traps are awaiting me. Is really? It's just it's a clear shot, huh? Alright, well, whatever. Unless they just sprung another trap on me, I should be okay. There's some fire laying around over here. Ugh. Ow. That was not the play. Let's end some flames, shall we? Flames are ended everywhere, and there's a switch right there. And there's a creepy guy that wants to murder me. It's the King's Guardian. I don't know if I really want to do battle with him yet, but it doesn't look like I have a whole lot of choices. Alright, so we'll do battle with Mr. Kingly there, and we're going to hope for the best. And we might actually be able to do this. Let's see. Let's hope. We'll hope against hope. We'll dream against dream. Alright, ooh, he's pretty evasive. And we missed our first shot. Not great. Ooh, the freeze is real, and it really, really, really hurt. Holy crap. Drop some rocks on this guy's head. That didn't do much. Oh, the bleed. And he stole some oh, HP back. That definitely doesn't sound like a pleasant individual. Probably don't want to invite him to dinner at any point. Freeze is real again. Oh my gosh, so much damage done so quickly. I don't think we can do enough damage to kill this guy. Like, we're gonna have to run, I think. Like, there's no way we can kill this guy, is there? I don't think so. Like, he does way too much damage. Alright. Keep trying. Oh, man, the bleed is ridiculously real. Alright. Got him down to about half. Come here, little one. I mean, maybe... Maybe not. Yikes. Oh, it's pretty nasty, guys. It's pretty nasty. You know what? I think we're going to have to flee. I don't think we can do this yet. Maybe with blessings. Maybe with blessings we can do it, but he just hits way too hard. I mean, we're close, though. I mean, maybe a couple more level ups and we can, we can handle it, but as it stands right now, not going to happen. There's absolutely no way. Alright folks, well at least we know, at least we know now, that that is definitely not the play. Alright, let us use a Kunavarn Travel Crystal, and we'll head back to that town. And it is there that we shall rest, and then I will actually go between episodes and get food this time, so you guys don't have to watch and suffer through it one more time. I know you guys really, really enjoy the food runs, but Hello. I will try to spare you. Alright, we'll rest for one full day, and that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Well, at least we're cleared out all the way there. All we have to do is make it back in and do a battleation and killing. And apparently we need to cure a lot of people of poisons or ailments, if you will. Either way, that's going to do it for this particular episode of Lords of Shulama. I will be back a little bit later this week, probably with another episode or two of Lords of Shulama and some other various things, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you are, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And hopefully we get through this eventually. I don't know. I'm not really sure how far along I am or how I'm doing, per se, but... I don't know. I kind of took a look at some of the other LPs that are out there, and it seems to only be one, and I think it's all in German. That is actually complete. And I try to find roughly where I was at, and I think, I, again, I don't know, maybe he did it in a different order than, than I did, but it seems like he's around episode 110, 120, maybe, somewhere around there, at the same place I'm at, but he's on a harder difficulty level than I am. He's playing, like, Iron Man Super Elite mode, so kudos to him, and I'm, I'm proud of him for being able to do that, but that's way beyond my abilities. Anyhow, so I assume that he, I guess, ended around 170-something, so we might be roughly around the halfway mark, maybe just under, so kind of cool, kind of cool. Either way, guys, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time with more Lords of Shulaman. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.